So now we have three equal value resistors with six volts across them. This is a voltage divider. There are 10K resistors, but uh, that doesn't really matter. 10,000 ohms. At this point here, this could be an output right there. We have one third of the supply voltage because that's one third of the total resistance because they're equal value. Up here, so that's uh, two volts out of six. Up here, we have two thirds of the supply voltage or four volts out of six right there. So that's the way uh, voltage dividers work. Of course, that depends on the current flowing through the resistors. So if you draw a current to try to power something, that's gonna throw it off. Usually you would use those voltages as a signal voltage. So now we're gonna look at this voltage divider being powered with nine volts there at the supply. Nine volts across the uh, voltage divider. It's uh, three equal value resistors, they're 10K, but value doesn't really matter. What matters is that they're equal value. So there, we got one third of the resistance towards the negative supply. You get about one third of the voltage, three volts out of nine. Up here, we got two thirds of the resistance in relationship to ground, and therefore we got about two thirds of the voltage, six volts out of nine. So again, these voltages are not for providing power. They're uh, usually reference voltages for other circuitry to look at and respond to. So now, when we had our three equal value resistor voltage divider, we got one third and two thirds of the supply voltage. So you can think of it this way, positive up on top, negative on bottom, or uh, plus six volts in relationship to ground. If you're using six volts right there, it could be a different voltage. But in any case, with that six volts, the uh, voltage is in relationship to ground, and so where these two resistors connect, it's closer to ground uh, resistance-wise. Therefore, you're going to get about one-third of the supply voltage. If you're using six volts, that's about two volts right there. Now, that's not to draw a current. That will throw it off. If you go up to this point there, there you can see you got two-thirds of the voltage in relation, two-thirds of the resistance, I mean, in relationship to ground. Therefore, you get about two-thirds of the voltage. Six volts makes the math easy. That's about four volts. So we measured this in an earlier video. Now we're gonna move on. So now, a lot of times battery circuits look like this. This is a symbol for a two cell battery, but it could actually be any number of cells. We got nine volts next to it right there. We got three series resistors. They're equal value. They're all 10K. Exact value doesn't really matter. But in case where these two connect and where those two connect, we can get some reference voltages. So this is one third of the total resistance there. To, towards the uh, negative supply right there. So in relationship to the negative supply, we'll have about three volts at that point. Up here, we got about two thirds of the total resistance in comparison to the uh, negative supply, coming from the negative supply. Therefore, working our way back to the negative supply, we'll have about uh, six volts or two thirds of the total supply voltage right there. And again, these are not for powering loads or something at these voltages. You need uh, special circuitry for that. These are reference voltages for other circuitry to look at and respond to. 